What up, YouTube? <clears throat> we back at it again. Um, good afternoon. We are continuing our uh, our travel through time. We're looking through the 1950s right now. So I got a list per decade. I'm doing various. I've got lists, <laughs> lists on lists. Um, and uh, there's quite a few songs per decade. I'm doing like a. I don't know if I want to do a top ten, a top five. I don't know if I'll ever get done with this. We'll see. I'm like eager to get to 60s and 70s and 80s. Not not because I don't like the 50s. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's more relatable for me when you get a little closer to as you get closer to my time. I'll put it that way. Anyways, we're looking at uh, Nat King Cole comes next on the list. This is from 1950. Uh, this song's called Mona Lisa. Nat King Cole, uh, American hero, um, icon, singer, songwriter. One of the best soloists ever. Um, famous for, you. I mean, you could run down a list. I could spend my time. Um, unforgettable. Uh, L-O-V-E. The Christmas Song. Um, well, quite a few of them. But, um, yeah, so this is Mona Lisa. This was, I got I want to get this right here. So he didn't, he didn't write this. This was written. Um. Written by Ray Evans and Jay Livingston for Paramount Pictures film Captain Carey. Never seen it. In 1949, um, it was performed by Sergio, Sergio De Carlo uh, on a recurrent accordion motif. Uh, anyways, um, I think I've heard the song. I've never seen him sing it, and it's been probably a while since I've heard it. I might recognize it. We'll see. Uh, anyways, do me a favor. Um, go, go support his music any way that you can. Um you can like and to subscribe to, to this. I'll put the original down below, or you can check out all of his stuff. And make sure you like and subscribe to that, too. You can still support artists if they don't have existing social medians. Um, I don't know if Nat has a, a, a Twitter, but if he did, I'd, 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 I'd follow whatever. Um, yeah, anyways, no longer, uh, no longer able to. But um, I don't even have Twitter, so... Uh, yeah, if you like what I do, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. It does help the channel. Uh, new new merch dropped. Check it out if you'd like. Um, I think I'm getting. I bought a couple pieces myself. I'm thinking I'm. It's because it's all it all sort of a drop ship. I don't have boxes on boxes of stuff. But it's sort of like a drop shipping scenario. But um, I will be wearing some of it pretty soon here. I think it'll be here shortly. Anyways, um, we might as well listen to the song. Spinning wheels, man. Talk to me. Swing Time Video presents Nat King Cole is the entertaining opener. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like the lady with the mystic smile Is it only cause you're lonely they have blamed you For that Mona Lisa strangeness in your smile Do you smile to tempt a lover, Mona Lisa? your way to hide a broken heart many dreams have been brought to your doorstep they just lie there and they die there this is one of those voices that's so soothing like literally you could put him on a record singing I don't know, a, a, a chemistry school book. Um, the most boring section of the encyclopedia on a record, and it would, it would sound good, you know, as you're doing whatever you're doing around your house. Um, oh, I didn't mention his, like, his activism. Um, I think the first black host of a variety show, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he did a lot with um, African, African-American rights and and whatnot but um and just being a face of and an exposure to but um 
anyways, we're, we're on to the song, not what he did off stage, uh, but um, definitely a, a, a wonderful figure to follow in, in that sense too um, with, you know, social civil matters and whatnot, but are you warm? Are you real? I just a cold Lovely work of Sorry, Nat. Um, the the strings almost have like this islandy vibe, but he's 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 full on just he's. I mean, this is sort of your old school jazz pianist, right? Um, but it's uh, it's really beautiful. Just the the flow of it. It's kind of like ocean waves. It's not, you know, it's it's sort of just the way he's gliding right now. It's just fluid. It's beautiful. Um, the song itself, lyrically, sound. It's he's singing. He's singing to a a woman and it's it's basically in reference to a woman that's in my mind um that's it it symbolically and comparatively you know sort of uh referencing as to to mona lisa he just said like in in elements of the painting itself Leonardo, leonardo da vinci um obviously probably the most famous piece ever but um that's what he's doing is comparing sort of a, a, you know, a, a female, a, a love to, to Mona, Mona Lisa, and just the, uh, the, what goes into the painting itself characteristically. Um, and then taking that personifying it into an actual being, right? Do you smile to tempt the lover? Mona Lisa. Oh, is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there and they die there. Are you warm? Are you Just a cold on me, lovely work of art, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. Nailed it. Well done. Nat. Um, okay. So that was that was Mona Lisa, Nat King Cole. I gave my thoughts throughout. Um, sorry for pausing a few times. Uh, if if you're listening here, you you probably heard it before, um, or you like listening to me talk. So either way, you win, right? Um, no, nah, beautiful song. He he has this. Uh, he carries this 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 kind of this i don't know it's just like it it's you you watch people that that sing and perform and then you watch people that seem to enjoy singing and performing um and making people happy looking around to to see those around them if you're affecting if you're if you're touching them in some kind of way not just doing a job but doing doing something you love and that you feel um for others not just not just for you which is i think in in kind of embodies the beauty of music as a whole right um Cool. And, and by the way, I think in my record player right now, there is some Nat King. I think it's he's part of a compilation of a jazz album that or a record that I have in there with some some old jazz stuff. But um, yeah, that's what I got for you. Uh, that is uh, 1950 Mona Lisa. So do me a favor. Go support. Go support Nat anywhere you can. 
Um, and uh, if you like what I do, like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Um, you can throw me, uh, you can throw me Rex if you want. I do have a list that I'm getting through, so you may, you may want to. If I miss something when I get to the 60s, then Zach, this is important. Um, then jump over to Patreon and let me know. Um, which, by the way, is is linked down below. It's the best way to get me. Um, so, like I said, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, and throw me a like if you like, or don't. You don't have to. And we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next.